is my favorite one, you know what I'm saying? I'm so get naked. Get naked. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley. How are you guys doing this morning? I am doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about some confidence hacks that every woman should know. These are very easy to apply. They're something that you can do in your everyday life and they're actually quite enjoyable. I really, really enjoyed doing these hacks. This has helped me come from someone with very, very, very low self-esteem to now someone with really high confidence that sounds, that sounds so, I don't want to say that oh my god now I have a lot of confidence in myself my abilities as a person and as a woman and I also support other women in their stride to be whomever it is they want to be and so I think this is very much needed for all of the women to understand how to really encourage one another and learn how to encourage yourself so let's go ahead and get into these hacks my first and important hack is to compliment other women complimenting other women not only encourages the woman that you are complimenting but it also brings that to you I am a person that really believes in you receive what you put out into the world and so if you're very complimentary to other women say hey girl I like what you're wearing you look gorgeous oh girl you got such a pretty smile oh girl I love your hair you look gorgeous what how, who, who did your hair it's just so beautiful just little things like that it can really boost someone's confidence for that day and then just being able to be the person that boosts another woman's confidence can also help your confidence as well it's just a little small just a little small gesture that nobody really uses a lot but I think it's very very important to still in this day compliment other women when you see something going on and you really really like what they are doing or looking like next hack is very important very important do not compare yourself to other women please do not compare yourself to others because one you are not like anyone in this world it is a scientific fact that you are not like anyone in this world you do not have the same DNA you do not have the same fingerprints you do not have the same exact talents and even if your talent is videography who said your videography style is gonna be the same as the next? You definitely don't want to compare your beginning to someone else's middle. It's just not fair to yourself. Why would you put yourself in a situation where you expect to be or make yourself feel that you should be something that someone has had training for for probably three years? You don't wanna compare yourself physically to anyone else because hey, not everybody's built the same. I don't want people to think that the skinny is the best thing or the plus is the best thing or the curvy woman is the best thing take your body and love it as it is really embrace who you are and just really be happy with who you are and and honey just jazz that up i mean i'm a plus size woman i have so many flaws in my mind of things that I would love to change and am working on changing but in the midst of that you cannot tell me honey you really want to embrace who you are embrace how you feel embrace the things that you like to do and take that and magnify it and you will not be surprised you will be so surprised with how far your life goes with really standing in your own and not worried about what everybody else looks like or what they think or how they operate do you that's the best thing <laughs> my <laughs> This is my favorite one, you know. Say I'm so get naked, get naked, get naked, get naked. Hey, I really embrace people on getting naked. It may sound weird, but if you are very conscious about your body you don't really it's a lot of stuff that you may not like about your body or that you're working on and you still want to have confidence in the midst of all of these things that you're working on even if you're not working on anything you just want to be confident in your body get naked honey i'm telling you when you get ready to go to bed strip down when you get home take those pants off take that shirt off walk around in your bra and panties i'm it's just so liberating i don't know why people don't do this often once i got my own place uh in college oh my god 
I, when I say I strip down as soon as the door shut, just clothes just throwing everywhere. And that's exactly when my confidence began to kind of build itself, especially my body, especially my body positivity. It really magnified after I stopped wearing clothes. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Get dressed, get undressed in front of everybody else. Who cares? Like, if you're in dance class, get undressed in front of the other girls. Don't go into the bathroom and dress yourself up because you're self-conscious of what you look like. Honey, no, take that pants, take those pants off right then and there. Everybody else does it. And then when I did it, I was the biggest girl in the dance class. And I started getting dressed in front of everybody else. I mean, no cares in the world. And then they were like, they were, I saw skinnier women that were, that I thought should not have any problems being, you know, confident in their body run into the restroom because they didn't want anyone to see what they looked like. Have times when you are trying to embrace your body and you just let that thing hang. You know what I'm saying? Just take your shirt off, walk around the house with your bra on and your pajama pants and just let it just go. Just let the breeze hit you. I have two hacks that are kind of contradictory to each other. The first one is spend more time by yourself. The reason I say spend more time by yourself is because you are able to get into a room and just do what you want to do, spend time with yourself, have your personal thoughts, not conflicting with the noise outside, with other what other people are saying, or what other people are thinking, and how they are looking and responding to you. You don't have all of that noise. You can actually get to know yourself on a more personal level if you spend more time to yourself. If you're going to the spa, instead of taking all the girls to a spa trip, go to a spa trip by yourself and just enjoy it and see, you know, you may learn a whole lot more by yourself just sitting and reading than you would being in a club full of people throwing it up, you know what I'm saying, knocking them back, you know, it's it's just a little different, just a little thing that um, kind of gets you to really know who you are on the inside when you spend more time by yourself and, and your personal thoughts. As you're doing that, you may want to turn the TV off and the radio off sometimes, just lay in the bed and just let those thoughts run through your head really kind of get to know yourself and um just have that personal time by yourself the other hack that may be a little contradictory not a little bit but it's it's a little contradictory i guess to the one i just stated is to go out often <laughs> you can spend time by yourself often and you can go out often they they don't they don't conflict with each other um going out often is also to help you have more confidence in around other people as far as interacting with other people if you feel yourself maybe a little socially awkward you get uncomfortable in a crowd of people um and it's just something that makes you really anxious just being around people that you don't know keep getting yourself in that situation and you'll learn how to better operate in that situation you'll learn how to like other people, start talking to other people, having great conversations, and you'll be surprised the type of people that you meet because you put yourself out there and you got out of the habit of just always standing in the corner when you're in a crowd. Go out there and mingle. You never know, you may meet some folk that you really want to be with in the rest of for the rest of your life as far as friends husbands wives whatever also be sure to have encouraging friends encouraging friends are just that they are very supportive for you they are very supportive towards you they are there for you when you need them and especially when you are having days where you're just so low in your confidence that you're just like oh my god I can't I just can't be out in these streets I just I need to stay stuck in the room your friends will support you be like hey girl uh-uh don't do that you look good get up girl let's go and just get something to eat just come out here and just make you feel better you know friends that were really really positive they don't have a lot of negativity they're not full of drama they're not bringing all of this drama into your life and into your house they have peaceful times where they are able to come and encourage you you need that and then when you are also being encouraged you are able to be an encouragement for someone else which takes me back to my first point stand in the mirror often this is very important if you do not have confidence in your physical appearance um i remember when i did not have confidence in the way that i looked i completely avoided mirrors to the point where i when i looked in the mirror i didn't even recognize who i was i was just just totally different you know what i i just didn't really 
pay too much attention to myself. I didn't pay attention to myself when I put my clothes on, when I did my hair, I did not wear makeup. You know, I just didn't put any anything extra into my appearance. And so when I saw myself after a while, I completely did not know who I was. So what I say is, look in the mirror often stand in the mirror just really get to see yourself for who you are if there's something you don't like change it don't be afraid to change it don't think that the body positivity movement says oh no you're never supposed to not like anything about your body that's not true that is not true there are some things that people don't like about themselves that they want to change but you should still in the midst of that love yourself completely you can love yourself for who you are and the type of person you are and want to change your arms or want to change the tone of your um discoloration of your skin or something like that then it's it's okay another one is very 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 important sit down and write a list of all of your accomplishments and all of your talents sometimes we can take ourselves for granted and not really understand how great we are and how powerful we can be in this world just take a pencil and a piece of paper and write down I graduated from this or I am very smart in this area I have great people skills I am very educated I am a great sister I don't know just whatever type of whatever kind of accomplishment you feel is very important in your life write that down whatever type of talent you feel that you have just comes naturally or something that you have trained yourself to create write that down you do not know sometimes how great you are unless you actually see it i think it's plenty of bosses running around here not being bosses because they don't know they're a boss also, once you write that list, be sure to hang it up somewhere that you can see every day so that you can go back to that list when you are having your days where your confidence is not allowing you to even get dressed. Go back to that list, look at that, and you're like, you know what? Why am I tripping? I'm, I'm legit. Like, I'm it. <laughs> Let me get up and go. Let me just go run this world real quick. You know? Confidence is so important. I really want you guys to love yourself for who you are. Don't worry about what these Instagram thugs, Twitter thugs, Facebook thugs, online and offline bullies have to say about you because you are very perfect. You are absolutely amazing. Embrace that love that run with it and you will be so surprised with how far this life takes you because you loved yourself for who you were you had the confidence in your talents and your abilities and you actually ran with that and multiplied it and became the magnificent person that you are today so guys i hope this helps those that are not are struggling with low self-esteem confidence definitely take these hacks into consideration try to implement them in your everyday life and let me know in the comments how they worked if you've tried them before or if you have some other hacks that these um, women can actually use to boost their confidence definitely put those in the comments below if you like this video please press the thumbs up and also subscribe to me because I'm awesome hey so I have a link if you're interested in my newsletter it's down in the description below I'll talk to you guys later and thank you for watching this video bye